JLR Card here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, this is like the third time I'm attempting this video. My camera has been bugging out. Let's hopefully, hopefully, hope that this is working properly this time. But we are opening up a case or uh, a display of the gift collection from One Piece. Um, I feel like it's a little early for the gift collection, but it is a cool product. And the goal for me is to get at least one of each of the promos. So in the uh, back of the box here, you can see that you do get a deck box, which is this one right here. Uh, five packs of OPL4. Uh, this is why I feel like it's a little early. I feel like, I think OPL5 comes out in December. Um, and that would have been cool to have for the holiday season. Plus OPL5 has like more of the chase cards. Um, but the reason why I want to get this is to get one of each of the 13 uh, promo cards. One pack comes with three cards. Six of these gives you more chances of getting all of them. Now, it's not like a fixed thing, not that I've seen, but we are going to open up this one just to show uh, what's in the box here. And then I'm just going to cut to cracking open all of them. So like this the Pokemon dates with a lot of plastic but this is the deck box you got the uh, gear for Luffy bounce band uh, Dofi VV croc uh, you got the one piece logo there logo there and inside is a divider uh, with frozen Ante um, I think missed opportunity to have another art in the back, but this is basically OPL4 art. Um, all these art it, it is on cards throughout this set. And packs, we get packs in this. So five OPL4 packs, and then the one gift collection promo pack. So I'm just gonna set that up to the side and we'll crack some packs open. I feel like I said packs randomly too many times. Uh, there isn't a typical pull rate in these products. So it could be hot garbage or um, we got amazing pulls, but we'll see what we get. These five barrier. Yeah. It's, all right. This is a. Uh, leader pack so usually no pulls and no extra dawn so uh, I'm gonna set the rares to the side there uh, yeah they're kind of hit or miss um, I've pulled a VV alt art before with one of these boxes but um, we got Orlumbus and then I feel like OPL4 has been so accessible now, which is great. Uh, pricings for booster boxes went down. Um, pricing another leader pack. So if you didn't know, if there's a leader pack, there's usually no pulls uh, unless it comes with a um, Dawn. But usually when you see a leader pack, you know you're not getting anything really interesting in, in it. All right, next pack. I might open up all the promo packs. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it one at a time. I was gonna say, might do it at the end, but you might as well just skip to the end to do that, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but yeah, wow. Three in a row, this is not a great box, to be honest. Senior Pink and Zoro. Like I mentioned, it could be hot garbage so three out of the five packs are leader packs which is not that great all right hanger coliseum but yeah because uh prizings for locals we got okay this might be something okay we get a uh, super rare Yamato, not bad, good for playability wise, but 
because uh, locals and stuff, prizing, there's packs to be obtainable. So I feel like a lot of um, locals are just giving out, like splitting a booster box these days. So I have a lot of bulk. Surprisingly, uh, besides the uh, pre-releases that I did, I didn't really get that many uh, product, but my bulk, oh, this is the alt. Nice, that's new for me. So we get one alt, so not a loss. Um, let's leave this up. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I've opened up so many packs from OPO4, but surprisingly don't have a, a lot of, uh, of the alts. Um, I guess we can see this one up too. All right, and we'll dive into the pack here. What I don't like about these kind of packs, uh, it's, it's cool that it's in a pack, but because there's so little cards in it, it's opening up is kind of annoying. So I am going to use scissors. All right. Once again, the hope is to get one of each. Um, but the doubles I want is more of uh, Nami and Chopper. So the first one here is Ace. This is the promo Ace that was given out in North America um, we got it for Event Pack 1, uh, the Double Attack uh, 5 Drop 6K Ace. So it's a different artwork. It's cool. We got Robin. Uh, missed opportunity. This should have been uh, the... Oh, that really tripped me out. I thought that was like a weird cut. But I guess that's part of the art. But yeah, uh, this should have been the uh, OPO1 Robin, but it's the vanilla from the starter deck. And Uta. All right, that's a pretty solid promo pack. <sighs> Got dirt that showed up on my mat there. Uh, I'll see those up in a second. I... I am going to open up all the boxes so you don't have to see me open that all up. Probably like zoom by it and then we'll open up the rest of the packs. All right. So we got the other five cracked open here. And we'll just open up the promo packs as we go I feel like this would be a great product for prizing when it comes to locals okay maybe I shouldn't stack it like that but yeah let's open up some packs let's see if we can pull some magic it's like a super rare here got Sanji hanger Tama Barrier. All right. And Miss All Sunday. Nice. Put the rares there. But uh, this set has been, I don't know, for me, I've been struggling on what I've been wanting to play. And funny enough, I've been playing Ace a lot. Um, I know one of my latest videos, right before OPO4, Ace, um, I made the Straw Hat Ace, but that was for OPO3, and I don't think it really applies to, we got another super rare, doesn't really apply to OPO4's format right now, so like, the traditional Ace deck, um, is doing a lot better, uh, it, it got second place in the Niagara Regionals, um, it's doing well in locals. Funny enough, I have like just the worst luck when it comes to searches. Um, to a point where my buddy got me a whiff counter, uh, one of those clickers. Um, so every time I whiff, I I'm clicking that. But it's it's weird. It's it's hard to whiff on an ace deck with with all wiper cards or events. Um, but I whiff a lot. <laughs> So I, I get a whiff counter. Um, but the format's a lot different now, just because 
Uh, it's a slower pace. Um, and it's not just, okay, yes, the regionals are still a lot of white beards topping, but especially in my area, um, there's a good variety of decks. So it's not just the, the same. Ace is picking up, the local I've been to, um, I think this is, yeah, another Dawn. Uh, the local I was just at, uh, there was three Ace players. Uh, including myself. So it is picking up traction. But in Niagara, I, I played uh, Zorro. Didn't do, do too well, and the reason is my whiffs of search. I'm really struggling in this pack here. And there's an ult. <laughs> there's definitely an ult in this pack. Which one is it? I'm, it could be a who's who or a VV. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got Rebecca. It is a who's who. Kind of saw that. I have a who's who, but uh, I can sell this if anything for anyone that plays blue. And let's dive into the event pack. Make sure there's not the cards up feel tight. Okay, I might actually open this up the traditional way. Yeah, that's why I don't like it. See that look at how bad that open is. Just struggling. Just need to be careful here. way to cut it but we got it open all right three cards three promos we got zoro all right nami nice uh we got a, a double of robin uh but this is a solid promo pack to get if you just got a one of nami i want to play set just because uh play it in multiple decks and then this is the Zoro from Starter Deck. So for all the law players, instead of max rarity with the Treasure Cup or a 3v3 Zoro, this is an alternative. So that's definitely going to my law deck. All right, on to the next box. The pulls have been okay. Uh, one alt per box right now. Got king. But I, I do tend to open a lot of leader packs. But yeah, I have I just have the worst luck when it comes to searches in particular. I tend to whiff a lot, and it's it's kind of the reason why I don't play law. Because, like, for example, with the ace deck, uh, more than 50% of the deck, another leader pack, uh, is Whitebeard Pirates. And I still would do turn one search Ezo and then whiff and not get any Whitebeard cards, event or character. I do play Whitebeard Pirate card, the searcher. Um, I would only play it if I've seen a lot of events already. I would still whiff. Like, I do probability in my head when I see my hand and see how many cards I've seen already. Um, and I search based off of that. Not based off of what I'm really looking for. It's just like, what? Another leader pack. And, yeah, that's a lot of leader packs for... <laughs> but, yeah, it's it's just luck. And I have the worst luck. I am struggling with this pack. Just making a mess in my room. All right. Sanji. 
there goes my camera. I feel like I haven't recorded in a while, or like recording my face. Another leader pack, jeez. See, like, there is no typical pull rate when it comes to this. I did not pull anything yet in this box, uh, in this current gift box. Not even a super rare. All right. Columbus. Happiness Punch. I wanted Happiness Punch to it. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. That was a bad box. I thought the first box was bad. This one was definitely a bad box. Let's just hope we get some different promos. I do want that Santa Claus chopper. Like a place out of it. But obviously I won't be getting a place out here. Ooh, I was cutting it close to the cards. Alright, we got Jim Bay. This is a cool artwork of Jim Bay's. It, it kind of reminds me of the, the leaders in OPO3. Uh, but this is the starter deck Jim Bay that gives you plus 1k. We got Sanji. This is uh, one Poa, nice. Uh, this Sanji is has grown in popularity now because of red players facing Rebecca, specifically Zoro. Um, because since Rebecca is not uh, poking at life, at least you can swing big, like 7k, uh, and then get a card from life. So a lot of, and it's a 2k counter, so a lot of people are playing that in their like Zoro decks. This is the boa in OPO2. Um, I feel like the only person that really plays this. And I, I do like this card too because it kind of helps cycle. Um, when attacking, draw a card and then trash a card. Um, and then trash up to three cards from your hand. So it's good for like the impel down package. Especially if you're running, uh, trying to set up to draw from Ivankov, uh, playing... The love, love mellows. Oh, there's my light. All right. Kind of a hot mess. Just fix my light. But yeah, uh, this card's pretty good uh, in the impel down package. Just because you want to cycle cards and kind of keep your hand to a minimum. Um, so when you do summon Vonkov, you can draw from it. Uh, and it's a decent early game 5k beater. All right, on to the next box. This video has been all over the place, so I do apologize for it. So I'm gonna be editing this a little bit more than other videos, just doing one shots. Dead pack. So we open, we're on our fourth box, right? Yes, yeah, fourth box. And only is it fourth box? Yeah, we didn't pull anything on the third box. So hopefully this box is a lot better than the last. We got Pound, Randolph. Ingra and Barto. Good 2K blocker, 2K counter blocker for Rebecca. To the next pack, Kuro, Sanji. It's kind of funny. Zoro players that still run like the Sunny. This is a good replacement, but people are still choosing to pick Sunny over Sanji. I think just because of rarity. Because it's harder to get the Sunnies these days. We got a leader pack. Who's who? And a yellow and a bent. Not looking good, not looking good. In regards to the set, I have like everything. Uh, I even got a, a, a Manga Sabo. I got a Manga Sabo from a local. I got second place 
and I got three packs. And on the third pack, I got the manga Sabo, which is cool. This is my first manga. Um, we got Pell. We finally got a super rare. Um, but not a lot of alts in the set that I own. It's the last pack of this box. So I just want to, like, at this point, I just want to fill out the collection. Just at least one of each. Um, I have everything I need for playability. But just collection-wise. Very, very small handful of alts from this set. All right, page one, Mr. Five, and we got another super rare, Luffy. I think I have enough to like basically um, make two Rebecca decks. <laughs> Not ulted, but yeah. All right, these cards feel very close to the top, so I'm gonna have to do it the weird way. Very weird way. Yeah, one card was so close to the roof, so you definitely couldn't have used the scissors to cut from the top. All right, that was weird. All right, the next three. Sick, we got Law. This is the starter deck one drop blocker. We got another Zoro. And Sanji. So Sanji, I can start plugging into like my Zoro decks. Uh, got an extra, I'll spread them out after. Let that pile up. So I'm missing a couple. And we'll, we'll, do a little recap at the end of it. Let's continue opening up packs. I feel like, oh, there might be something here. Stussy, Otama, Coliseum, Mr. Four. He's um, a buddy of mine plays that in his Rebecca deck. It's a good alternative because a lot of people are... Um, subbing in like Suru or Tashigi, uh, 2k counters, sure, but they're navy, so it can't be searched. This guy can actually do that, and his uh, his playability is on play and when, uh, when attacking. You get to minus two and trash one card from the top, so I feel like it works a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, Barto, and we got a secret rare. Not the alt, but we get VV. Uh, apparently VV is going to be really good. This card in particular could be really good in OPO5. So I have a lot of my friends kind of collecting them. So I think that is my third VV. Third one. And then I have two alts. So I have a place that just in case. Set five, I am planning to play Purple Luffy, uh, just because it's doing really well. Heavenly Fire and Starter, not Starter Deck, Super Rare Croc. I lost track of which cards came from what. I think these two are from the next box, this current box, but yeah. Uh, Purple Luffy is probably what I'm going to be playing. Um, and I'm forgetting her name, but there is, I think, a red-yellow um, deck coming on OPO5, and that's probably my secondary. And I think that's the deck that plays Vivi. All right. Kuros and Bad Manners. We have this is the second last pack in this box. This is the 
second last box that I have out of the, the display slash case, whatever you want to call it. Mr. 13, Dragon Twister, Diamante, and Cavendish. All right, last pack of this, and we'll get into the promo. Got Black Maria, Our Lumbus, Happiness Punch, Perispero, Eric, Leo, Olin, and the 10 drop Dofi. Not bad. Three pulls. Is it better to go from the bottom? I think it's better to go from the bottom. There's one card that goes, like, kind of pushed to the, the top. You can't really use the scissors. But if you just push everything to the top from the bottom, I think it's easier to open with scissors. All right. Yeah, that was a lot easier. Three cards. We got Ace. There's the chopper. The holiday chopper basically this is the santa chopper good incorporation with the x not the hat and frankie have i pulled frankie already i am not sure uh but this is the one drop blocker from the starter deck i feel like this chopper has so many reprints but that gives me us more opportunity to spice up our decks uh with the choppers just because Treasure Cup Chopper was pretty hard to obtain. Um, you have to top 64, I believe, in the Treasure Cups. I didn't get into many Treasure Cups. Only the Niagara one, um, Gen Con. And then even so, like by the time I was in the next Treasure Cup, I didn't get into any of the online Treasure Cups. Um, and then the ones that I did... Uh, was not having the choppers anymore. So, missed out on getting a treasure cup chopper. They are also giving that chopper in the 3v3s, but I have not, because there's no 3v3s in Canada, so I can't travel to the States too often. So, next time I'm in the States is for Nats. So, uh, I missed out on the choppers. So more, the merrier. I do have a play set of the choppers of the anniversary set. But it's also kind of hard to get that set now. Got Sabo. We're on the last box. Not a lot of alts that I've experienced in this box here. I think this might be a Dawn pack with the... Oh, I might be wrong. Yeah, it might be a Dawn pack. Who's who? Diamante and a Dawn. We got three Dawns. Two more packs. And we'll dive into the last promo pack and do a little recap. Just making a mess. All right, Caramel, Black Maria. Is it Stussy, Stussy? I'm thinking, um, I always had that problem with that brand as well. The same spelling. <laughs> Another leader pack. All right, we got, I hate, I hate this card. <laughs> I don't play yellow. So when I do play yellow and like I go for game, and that's the last card. That's the trigger in life. I know how other people feel when I trigger Red Hawk off life, and it happens often when I play that card. Um, but now I know how it feels. We got a super on this last pack, at least as something. But I don't think it's a, any big hit here. We got Red Rock. More than maybe with this card. And the 10 drop Kaido. It's 
Surprisingly, I only own two of these, so yeah. And we have the last promo pack. Yeah, let's push everything to the top. So my thinking of getting a case here is to get at least one of each promo. I think I'm missing one. We'll recap though. Oh, I don't think I have this one. Okay, it's good that we pull it here, Luffy. This is the promo Luffy, the attached to Dawn. Uh, this character gets Rush, uh, the six drop 7K. So that's the promo ones from pre-release times. We got Uta and Yamato. So I think that is everyone. Um, but in regards of pulls, only two alts. We got the Who's Who and the Dofi. Those are the alts that I've pulled out of six, out of Technically speaking, and in this the secret VB, out of 30 packs, and everything else is super rares, just adding to my collection of bulk, and we'll go through the promos here. These are supposed to be 13, and let's see how well we did. So we got the Robins. We'll put this like this. We got the Robin, Ace, Yamato, Uta, Chopper, Frankie, Zoro, Boa, Sanji, Zoro, Gen, Nami, Frankie, no, oh, Jinbei, Ace. Another Sanji, Law, and Luffy. So we ha we got all 13. Sick. So that's th the goal. Wanted more doubles of Nami and Chopper, but we got everything, which is the goal of this purchase. Uh, and then at this point, for anyone that wants to trade with some of my doubles, I know people want uh, this Uta. Just because it's Uta. And Sanji, I, I kind of like to keep. The Zoro is okay to trade. But I was supposed to try to achieve doubles for Law for a friend. But only got the one. But yeah, uh, this video has been all over the place. Uh, but if you stuck through all of it, thank you for watching. This is a great product to get. Great product to pick up. And potentially a good product um, for prizing. I think some stores might consider that because it does seem like a lot of stores have a lot of these. Uh, the fact that the day before launch of this, I was able to just pick up an order six easily um, and they had a bunch more available. Uh, this could be, I don't know, like maybe every time you swing by a store uh, and you can afford to buy one just so you can get more of the promos, go for it. And you might get some good pulls out of it. Uh, so thanks for watching. Peace.